But as I looked around and uh, I've got to do something now that I'm not on, I'm banned from Twitter, uh, a number of people rang me and said, have you seen this guy? This guy, a guy called Sesh. Have you seen Sesh? Um, and so I started trolling on the end and look at this guy called Sesh. And he figured out, he, he, he's a guy I know, Mike King. He's Mike King's son. And he's a comedian. And I started looking at Sesh's sessions on the interweb thingy. And apart from the fact that he swears way more than we are comfortable with here on the platform and not mainstream media, I listened to what the guy was actually saying and I suddenly realised, jeez, he seems an all right sort of dude. Uh, he actually seems to have the same concerns and be interested in the same issues and the same conflicts in our society as many of you are, and I guess as I am. And then I thought, geez, I wonder, and a number of people actually rang me and said, you should get this guy Sesh on the platform. So here he is. Welcome to the platform, Sesh. Uh, Sesh King, how the hell are you? Yeah, good morning, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Look, firstly, can I just say, no swearing, all right? You know, I, got I know that's going to be hard from you from what I've seen, Sesh, but... <laughs> But, you know, I've got standards. Um, they may not be very high, but I've got standards. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, Sesh, I know you're Mike's son, and that must be a burden to live with. Um, but tell us, uh, firstly, just about yourself. Uh, who are you? Where do you live? How old are you? What do you do for a crust? Um, so I started... Uh, in this business uh, as a rapper, as a musician, a producer. And then um, as uh, the pandemic and lockdown things started happening, I uh, I got stuck here in uh, New Zealand and I just started making content. And it started off with me just being kind of just uh, a bit confused with the whole situation. And I started sharing my thoughts and then people started agreeing. And I was like, okay. So I just kept going and then I just kind of turned it a little bit into like uh, my own personal humor, and then uh, so it's like an it alter funny. ego, Sesh, right? Isn't it? So it's yeah. like the, yes. this, this yes. version of you, yeah. Um, yes, exactly that. Yeah. Um, how old are you in your mid thirties? Yeah, around there. Okay. There's a number going around, but it's it's wrong. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Let's just say mid thirties, which makes like, like in comparison to me, you're a kindergarten kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Much. Sesh, what are the things that were confusing you that you started to talk about? Uh, it was mainly um, the the lockdowns. Uh, I was I was a bit confused with that. Why we had never shut the whole world down over something uh, mm. ever, um, and then you know just seeing everybody being forced to take something that a lot of people didn't agree on. I was just like, this is weird. This is strange. Uh, when did we like force people? And then, and then you know, just seeing like a uh, family and friends reaction and then people, you know, telling you you're a murderer and stuff like this. It was just really strange. It was just like, um, and being someone who's, who tries to keep very level headed ab about everything. I was just like, I was just observing from from a lens of just yeah, just just a bit wary. So I just started uh, saying what I thought, and it just turns out I didn't actually expect the reaction to be the reaction, but it turns out um, a lot of people, yeah, were feeling the same way. Yeah, um, and I think with good reason. Look, I watched in particular your stuff on, on a little simple question I asked the prime minister this week, um, which he had a bit of trouble with, um, and I'll st I'm going to stick the question on you. My answer is my mum. What's a woman? My mum is a woman. What's your answer to the question, uh, what is a woman? Uh, an adult human female. Right, okay, we've nailed that. That's good. And well done. That's a tick. That's 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Sesh, what have you thought watching that issue unfold? And also, could I say, uh, you, you know, and the way it has been covered, I mean, it's been covered outside New Zealand completely different than it's been covered in New Zealand by our, our big media organisations. Um, yeah, I mean, like, just to tap on that, I was surprised because I, I saw he had an interview the next morning 
with Ryan. And I was hoping that guy was going to bring that up since it went so viral, you know. Um, but obviously, they got told to hush, hush, maybe. But uh, yeah, no, just seeing you ask that question and seeing his reaction was one of the, it was uh, it was gold um, served on a platter for me myself personally um, with the content I do. So it was just it was just really crazy to see how people are like. It, it just shows you what where the world is. I think right now in terms of like, in terms of like you know, asking the most simple question like that, and then just seeing someone just freeze and being the le the leader of our country. You know what I mean? And he's just stumped because I, I, for me, I I'm guessing, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this guy is just thinking like a million different things. He does, and it's like simple. Just, just say what it is, bro. Just say what a woman is. You know mm. what I mean? What, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? We know what's wrong, but uh, yeah, yeah. It was just. So was you really reckon he knew the answer, Sish? Of course, he knew the answer. He had a woman standing next to him while he, <laughs> while he got asked the question. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't doing much for a while, was she? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sish, why do you think he, he didn't tell me the answer? Because in this day and age, uh, there are a lot of people that um, th think they know what a woman is, and he's obviously not trying to upset anybody, any particular pe peoples or persons, and he's trying to think of the most PC answer he can think of that will please everybody, and that's exactly what happened. And that's why it took so long after the question you asked. Yeah, I don't know if he actually did adequately at any stage answer the question. He did have a crack and went on at this woman called Posey Parker. I was also interested in the stuff you did before that question about what happened in Albert Park, which, again, if you read mainstream media, was an explosion of love, joy and togetherness, uh, what happened at Albert Park, and no one hit anyone or shouted anyone down. Um, was that your view of what happened at Albert Park? Uh, well, the video footage, the many video footages that I saw pop up on my Twitter timeline, um, told a different story. But, uh, you know, the media is always going to try to flip the narrative to where they think it should be, you know, where they think it's most comfortable. And that's just how it works. I mean, but thank God that we do have, uh, you know, certain platforms, people like myself, yourself that, uh, you know, can point these things out because mm. obviously... They, they're only telling half side of a story, you know, the, the one that fits best. Yeah. Uh, Sish, I was also interested in, in, I guess, in your narrative, looking back on all your stuff. Um, and I guess in what I do, I sometimes feel isolated and I believe all the trolls on Twitter who tell me I'm a turf and I'm a stale pale male, I'm a post-colonial rapist. <coughs> but you are... Well, I do. They, they do. And they've got me banned from Twitter. Boo-hoo. I'm in dopamine withdrawal right now. It's pretty difficult. Um, <laughs> but I look at you. You're from a different segment of society. You're from a different culture than I. You're interested in different music. You will have different friends. I presume you're living up in Auckland somewhere. Um, yes. And I wonder if anyone else, and I think when we all get stuck in these little silos, right, in our own little eco chambers, you wonder, am I crazy? But, and no one else is thinking this. Have you had blowback from your friends, your connections, or do you find there are actually a whole lot of people who agree with your views and are prepared to let you say to you, good on you, get in there? From my personal circles? Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I've had I've had I've had quite a few friends reach out and um especially with uh the the post I did on the protest, you know, um, the one last week. And yeah, people have said, hey, man, like, uh, I, I agree. You know, they may not always, because I, I know a lot of people that are still in the industry, whether it's music or entertainment. Um, and so a lot of people may, they, they may not share my stuff out of fear of being judged and stuff like that. But they do come to me privately and they do agree with a lot of the things that I say and have said. Wow, that's, that's, Kind of encouraging to know. Would you agree with yeah. me, Sesh? A a and, you know, I get as, I get more love than I do abuse f for what I do for a job, and my job's pretty simple. I ask questions and I try and get to the truth. End of story. Um, but it strikes me we are living in a country where a lot of people are afraid to speak their truth, and they're afraid of being cancelled, of being dragged off Twitter, 
of losing their jobs because they're not rainbow tick compliant. It seems to me there's a lot of fear out there, a lot of fear of speaking your truth. A hundred percent, mate. A hundred percent. You know, uh, one of the biggest comments I would always get when I see people, oh my God, you're so brave. You're so brave. And I'm like, what am I doing that's brave? You're telling the truth. I'm like, you can do that too. Like, I don't, I'm the, we're no different. You know what I mean? I guess I just deliver it in a humorous way, obviously, because I don't want to look like a nut job. But um, yeah, I really, really have seen and sensed that. And even now with the whole like alphabet thing, like, you know, people are just so scared to just touch anything. They're all, everyone's just walking on eggshells these days. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, you know what you do do, Sis, when, when you speak your truth, though, you, you give other people the courage to start speaking theirs. That, that's, you know, yeah, yeah, man, no, that's that, what that, absolutely, that's absolutely what it's all about. Have you had negative blowback? Have you had people in your industry and people in your friends have called you a turf and said you're a Nazi? Because that's, that's the biggest comeback you're at off Hitler. Yeah. Um, in my circles, in my friends, friendship circles, no. Because all my friends, all my real friends, they understand what I'm doing. They understand it's a character. They understand it's a gag. They understand everything that I'm doing. So they, even if they don't agree with what I'm saying, they know that Sesh and Nathan are two, se two separate different people. You know what mm. I mean? So, no, nah, no, nah, I, I haven't had any of that, man. Not, not like that. I mean, I've had, like, you know, people say that, obviously, in my family say that they don't agree with, like, things that I do and say. But um, I don't care. <laughs> so that's Bite just me. what it is. <laughs> um, uh, Nathan, I finally figured out what your first, real first name is. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to give you a warning. For coming on with me today, I bet you're going to get blowback, mate. I already uh, did in my comment section, mate. No, and tell us about that. I put it up on that. Twitter that I just got off the phone. No, yeah. no, no. no that, you know, it's just, I put up a, a little tweet, you know, I said I just got off the phone with Sean Plunkett. <laughs> Well, Did that you makes you a, side that the makes you a Nazi. One. I'm sending you the swastika and the jackboots uh, as we speak. <laughs> please, uh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Sish, what is what is the plan going forward for the future? Because I can't. You, I actually, you know, you've given me a little bit. I've had a pretty rugged week. I've had a lot of abuse this week, and you've given me personally quite a lot of hope because I figure out that not everyone under 50 is is a coward moronic idiot um so what is the plan for you going forward what do you do with sesh what do you do with this alter ego um do you want to get back into the music industry and in, in pure music or, or is life going in a different direction uh so no i've i've got music lined up i've actually got a a, a single lined up that i'm planning to release in the next couple of weeks which is based around everything that's happening right now in the world um but no i i do enjoy doing this uh this comedic relief type humor content so i'll be i'll, I'll be continuing to do that i mean or look where, where, where we are there's always going to be something new i mean who even knew that this thing was going to be viral a couple days ago and look where we are you know what i mean i, I just feel like the, the way the world is there's always going to be something to talk about yeah and it'll be great yeah it's, it's always good for me man because <laughs> Do you think New Zealand's in a good state right now? I think we're in either a confused or a nervous state. People don't know where to step and they don't know. I, I hate saying sides because I, I don't really look at myself on any particular side, but I think like people are just a bit nervous to, to say where, how they feel. You know, like we were say, you were saying before, like speak their truth and and just say, no, I don't agree with this and I don't agree with that, And but I mm. do agree with this and this. People have really, yeah, I think that's where we are right now, you know? Everyone's trying to save face. Yeah, well, it's funny, you know, you go back to Albert Park, it was just a bunch of women who wanted to speak their piece and speak their truth. Um, and exactly. I, and I reckon they got bullied and, and physically bullied and assaulted into shutting up. That, that's That's not very nice, is it? I mean, <laughs> it's never, not, but yeah, I, I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like uh, that that thing that happened with, with that lady. 
Because I'll be honest, man. Like I said in that post, I was honest about that. I don't even know, really know who that person was. I don't know who Posey Parker was until like all, all I knew Me was neither. that the government was, yeah, the government was trying to censor somebody from coming in and speaking their mind. That's all I was like. That's all I saw, and I was like, this is so strange. What is she here for? And then I started doing a little bit, you know, a little bit more research and investigating. And then, oh, hello. You know, the, the thing happened on the weekend. You're like, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, no, just very, very strange times, you know. And um, yeah, no, that's what I saw. I saw that as well. I saw videos of people getting hit, um, assaulted. Like I said in that video, dude, like if the police weren't there, no doubt she would have been in the hospital. Yeah, but the police were the problem is Nathan. The police weren't there for a long time, for twenty minutes. Yeah, the no, police left her sorry. hanging, man. I'm talking about the the specifically the video that I saw of yeah. her getting escorted out. Yeah, if they weren't, if nobody was there to protect her, yeah, definitely in hospital. That is not a safe counter protest in my eyes. Yeah, well, she wasn't. And how can you counter protest something that wasn't a protest? It was just a bunch of women wanting to say some stuff. You know, there you go, there you go. Um, what do you think of? <laughs> and it seems to me that there are now some extremists who have got kind of the ear of the government, got the ear of the education system. And I'm sure, coming from the background you do, you don't have any problems with gay people or trans people. Not your business. They don't get in your far, you know, no they're, they're, you're accept an accepting person. But it seems there's a tiny um, number of them who are really pretty radical and not in a good way. Yes, yes, there are, there are. Um, yeah, when it comes to that, man, I just want to say, yeah, obviously, like, anybody with a bit of common sense understands that I, I don't hate gay people or, or any, <laughs> I don't care, like, for me, I'm always like, if you're a good person inside, then that's all that matters. You know, I know that sounds a bit corny and cliche, but it's real for me. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, uh, seeing every, <laughs> there are people that are taking it to the extremes, though. You know what I mean? There, 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 yeah. there, there are people out there that are just like, how far can I push this? Mm. And we're seeing that. Do you think the tide's turning, though, Sesh? Do you think people like you are going to help more people be brave or, or just say what they think? I'm hoping so. You know, I, I look at what I do with the, the comedic side is um, is just trying to be like a, a symbol of, of hope for, for people out there that are maybe feeling a bit voiceless to be like, hey, man, like if this kid in his bedroom can do this kind of like stuff and speak this, then why can't I? You know, it's, it's just giving a bit of motivation and courage to be like, no, nah, I can just speak my truth, whatever it may be. Might not even be political, might just be for yourself and in, in your own dealings in your own life. Yeah. Hey, see, so I've got to give you the plug because I've really enjoyed yarning with you this morning. It's been great fun, mate. Um, where do people, no, where do people find it. you online? Uh, well, the best place to probably find me these days is on Twitter, which is I've, I've oh, just oh, good recently luck with started. That. Uh, <laughs> yeah, started started. Um, you know, uh, trying to use in the last six months. But uh, if not, Instagram is always a good place. I'm on Rumble. Uh, my biggest following is on Facebook, but I, I I don't really promote that anymore. Why not? That page is just that page is restricted, man. Bro, I went from like I went from like. Tw I hate saying things like this, but I went from like 12,000 likes on posts and 100,000 views to like 100. And oh. my page just keeps telling me uh, your next video might delete, get your page deleted. The, your next video you get uploaded might, might delete your page. And it's just like, oh, you know what, bro? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, but yes, you can find yeah. me on Instagram and Twitter. and, and uh, Under what Twitter. handles? What are your handles? Under Sesh. Under, Sesh, under yes, Dirty yes, Sesh. Yes. Okay. Can yes. I make you an offer yes. now, Sesh, if you're having problems with being cancelled? The platform has built its own app and we try and be as robust and insulated um, from Jacinda Ardern and the Christchurch call censors as we can. Uh, if you're into it, I'm happy to run and promote your stuff on the platform um, for free and links through to your stuff. Oh, star. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, yeah. promote, promote everything you can, boss. All right. Hey, Sesh, thank you so much um, for speaking your mind this week and for being funny. And thanks for joining me. We should do this again, bro. 
No, I, I agree, man. And thank you so much for having me on, man. I, I really, really appreciate it. Take it easy. That is Nathan King, otherwise known as Sesh. He is a, a satirist. Um, and I think a pretty good guy. 